Today we're going to be talking about pencil beam CT. That's first generation CT. So if you're new to x-ray or CT, first generation CT is called pencil beam because only a small amount of radiation was used, namely a pencil beam of x-rays was used for each view. We're going to be talking about that in more detail coming up. What we're talking about today is first generation CT. So really the historical perspective of how was the geometry set up for a first generation CT scanner. And this is just our little cartoon that will go through and it will go rather quickly. And we can watch it scroll several times as we're going through. So each time we wanted to acquire one view angle, we would have to have the x-ray source and the x-ray detector acquire one ray, essentially, through the object. And then they would translate together. So the x-ray source, again, acquire one ray through the object, translate again, one ray, and keep doing that. And that would just give us one view. From there, we would have to rotate the whole gantry, and we would have to then acquire another view and continue rotating and translating. So this is uh, very timely, and that's why these scans were not very quick at all. But in general, this is how CT scanning first started. And you can see why, is because you only need one x-ray source and one detector, so it's the easiest way to first build up a system. Again, this has been Brian Nett for HowReallyWorks.com. Thanks.